market rating important? Simply put, it's because it gives you more offers. Why are more offers important? Because it means you can sell more stuff at higher prices and not worry about having to undersell on the market just to free up so you can sell more stuff. With 1212, BSG drastically changed how fast we can level up uh, our flea market rating, and they did this on purpose to slow down progression. Not only is there less stuff we can sell on the market, but in order to get additional slots, it's much harder. Now, in order to get three slots, you have to have 30 flea market rating. 30 flea market rating means you have to put 150 million rubles through the flea market. And even more than that, if you have offers that don't sell or you sell something on accident and have to cancel it because those will actually take away rating. With rare exceptions, I very rarely list things below the market price or high on the list, however you wanna look at it. If pile of meds are selling for between 14 and 15,000 uh, pretty regularly, I still list for 15.5. I can do this because I'm not in a hurry to get my two slots empty. I have four now. And while you might think the difference between two and four is not that much, it's a lot. Now I have a very high flea market rate. I'm sitting 108 right now. I'm pushing for that 150 just to say I did it. And the more slots you have, honestly, the faster it goes. Three to four doesn't take as long as two to three, even though it's more points, simply because you can sell more stuff on the market. Now, I didn't just get here because I play more than other people or I run more raids or any, and get more loot or anything like that. There's very simple principles that I adhere to that help me level this up faster than, say, a comparable player. I'm going to go through these with you, give you the tips, show you how to do it so you can do what works for you, but you can get to that coveted third or even fourth slot if you want to, and maybe even the fifth if you push really hard. So let's dive right into it and get you guys up to speed on what I do. First up, pretty simple, is I sell everything. If it's found in raid, I sell it through the flea market, unless it's something cheap, you know, something that's not worth a couple thousand rubles. Uh, most everything 10K and above, I sell on the flea market. I never use found in raid items and crafts, and I never use them for barters. If I need augmentin for pile of meds and I have found in raid ones, I sell the found in raid one and buy a non found in raid one and that money changing hands through the flea market helps level up my rating. I also ignore losses on some things like super waters. I sell all of my found and raid super waters. Even though I'm constantly crafting with them, I buy the ones that I craft with and sell the ones that are found in raid. And the same goes with things like vendor items. You know, a lot of people will just sell Tetrises, uh, the MGTs, cats, and especially Intels. They sell those to the traders to get the rubles. I'll actually list these at a small loss, less than what the trader pays. So for example, look at the Tetris here. Uh, the Tetris sells for, what is it now, 75.6. So I'll usually list for 75,000 or 75.5. People will buy it up just to make that extra couple hundred rubles and I get the flea market rating. Now, yes, you lose your, uh, your flea market fee here, but that cost gets made up in the long run, in my opinion. Because what happens is, is when you go to sell items that you do make money on, like let's say you're selling your pile of meds you crafted or gunpowders you found in raid, you don't need to sell them at the absolute bottom of the market, or I should say the top of the list, however you want to look at it. You can sell them a little bit higher, give them five, 10 minutes to sell while you're in raid and make that extra bit of money. Now, not everything is sold at a loss. Pile of meds and these fabrics are going to be a really good example and the gunpowders. Uh, so for example, pile of meds, I always shoot for like 15,000 or 15,5 to sell these, sometimes higher depending on the time of the week. Uh, but I also buy a ton of pile of meds to craft everything else I'm doing. You know, things like Grizzlies and Propital, sometimes some of the other stuff in there that I end up crafting. But to fill those slots or for when I'm bartering for sugar, I shoot for 14,000 or less and I buy my pile of meds there. And then the ones I sell on the flea market, I sell for 15,000. And this works out because my, my flea market fee, you'll need to check for yourself depending on your skills. But if I sell for, we'll say 15,000, uh, I have an 851 flea market fee. That means 14, what is it, 14, uh, 149 is my actual profit on selling, or not profit, but how much it gets. So if I buy it for less than that, uh, I'm basically breaking even or making a little bit of money on that transaction. Kind of more complicated, but that's the long and short of it. So I set a point of 14,000. If I ever see pile of meds under 14, I snatch them up. And then I always make sure I sell over 15. And that's right now, that shifts back and forth as the economy changes, but that's what I generally look for. And I apply that same thing to like red gunpowder for crafting. You know, I craft tons of M61. Every night I'm crafting M61. And especially now that I've got max crafting, a um, little bit of a flex here, but with max crafting, I can craft two things at once. I don't have anything crafting right now because I was getting ready for this video, but at night I'm usually crafting BP and M61. And that eats up a lot of gunpowder. And even though I find it in raid uh, and get found in raid once, I almost always sell these. I'll sell these for the higher end on the market, 45, 50, and then I'll buy up the ones that are 40, 41, sometimes in the 30s and craft with those. And then the other side with crafting is crafting big ticket items, things like moonshine, 
defibs or some of the ammos like uh, 366 AP or some of the other ammos, rip ammo that you can sell for a bunch of money and get that huge amount of money flowing through the flea market, even though you don't make that much money with it, it helps out your flea market rating a ton. And then the last thing I do to help this process go along faster is I sell in big stacks. Like I'm never selling one cat or one pile of meds. If you look, I have two junk boxes and I sort by, you know, one slots and two slots. It just helps me keep track of things. And when I get a big stack of items, like I'll, I'm close to selling a bunch of pile of meds here, um, or I'll probably sell soaps. I just sold a bunch of stuff like, like last night, I was totally full. But as I get big stacks and big stacks of items, you can list those and you get more out of that slot that you put on the market. Plus with a lot of things, if you, I talk about this in a ton of other videos, if you sell in big stacks for items that you used up, things like circuit boards, fabrics, uh, you know, especially things like sugars or moonshines that get used in lots of barters or crafts, you can actually sell higher because people just want to buy up all what they need. They don't want to fight the, you know, offer has already been sold message over and over again. They'll go to the big stack that's farther down and more expensive just for the convenience. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, there's not much more to it than that, but I get asked it a lot. So I figured I'd do a video and, and uh, explain it to folks. So I hope it helps. I wish you the best of luck in your raids. We'll see you in Turkey.